most exciting destination in all of northern Wisconsin. LCL Casino Lodge and Convention Center Hayward. LCL. Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the Native News Update. It's Friday, December 29th. And many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for today from the Associated Press and other Native News sources. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan has uh, granted the Akohanok Tribe Indian status. The small tribe is the third in the state to receive such recognition. As for what being granted an Indian status means to the tribe, it means a lot of resources and a lot of grants and health care benefits. The tribe's next mission is to open up a new cultural center in Christfield. In 1913, Susan LaFleche Picot, the first Native American doctor, fulfilled her lifelong dream when she raised enough money to open a hospital on a hill overlooking Wilt Hill, Nebraska, where she treated sick patients until her own death at the age of 50 just two years later. A group of Nebraska historians, the Nebraska Commission on Indian Affairs, and the Omaha Tribe want to restore LaFleche's hospital, which has fallen into despair after years of remaining empty and have begun a fundraising campaign to do so. Born in a teepee in 1865, the daughter of one of the last recognized chiefs of her people, LaFleche graduated at the top of her medical school class in 1889. She did so more than 30 years before women could vote and Indians were recognized as U.S. citizens. LaFleche returned to the Omaha Reservation upon graduation to practice medicine in a place where she lacked many of the basic necessities and medical staff needed to treat hundreds of patients. The Omaha tribe would like to see the hospital transformed into a historical site. The building is already a National Historic Landmark and provides offices for the tribe. The last Native American village in Yosemite Valley in California, destroyed 40 years ago, is being rebuilt in the same spot so that Miwok Indian youth can learn about their culture. Archaeological evidence shows Native Americans living in Yosemite Valley for at least 7,000 years. Essence of Healing, A Journey of American Indian Nurses is a documentary that received the 2017 Sigma Theta II International Nursing Media Award at the group's 45th Biennial Convention in Indianapolis, Indiana in October and the Best Service Film Award from the 42nd American Indian Film Festival in San Francisco in November. The documentary captures the journeys of 14 American Indian nurses from the Northern Plains as they follow their calling into the nursing profession. The Halapai Tribe is expanding tourist offerings at the west rim of the Grand Canyon. More than one million people a year visit Grand Canyon West outside the boundaries of the National Park. It's best known for the Skywalk, a horseshoe-shaped glass bridge that juts out 70 feet from the canyon wall and gives visitors a view of the Colorado River 4,000 feet below. The tribal corporation that runs it recently opened a restaurant in the Connection Visitor Center. In January, the corporation plans to open a pair of zip lines that will send guests nearly 1,000 feet above a side canyon. Each zip line will carry four people. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Navy News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day.